Well, here's our male Cooper Hawk. A great movie. He's had a rain last night, and these guys' tail all fanned out, and his wing down, drying off. We're on the west side of the Green River, down by the Boeing Aerospace Building. There's a barn here, and there's a little racetrack for the horses, and this is where they kind of warm them up or exercise them. I happened to be driving by and uh, seen this Cooper Hawk sitting here drying off. There's many starlings in there. He's hunting too, but he's drying his feathers off. You can see his tail's all fanned out. He's got his wing down. He's enjoying it very much here. And they're all excited that we happen to find him here sitting on the post. And it's uh, right on the edge of the track. It runs around, I think it's about a quarter mile track. Oh, he's going to preen up. Look at this guy. He has the orange breast feathers. He's enjoying it very much. He's got his wing out there. We've seen him for, oh, several weeks now. He's wintered out here in the area. We haven't seen the mate, though. But we're keeping an eye on it. We're hoping to see it show up. We're going to see if we can find, locate where they're nesting. Many good places here. There's many trees and groves down here along the river. So if we keep an eye on him long enough, we may be able to find out where the nest is and be able to make some good movies of that. But I was down here the other day and I seen the peregrine falcons working together chasing a duck and uh, flying together in a flock of seagulls. They were trying to get in there. But And then a day or so before that we actually seen the male peregrine falcon catch a duck in midair. So that was very exciting. But today it's all about this cooper hawk here and <laughs> we're all excited about finding him. It rained pretty good last night and had a good windstorm. And uh, he obviously got a little wet, and he's taking the opportunity now just to clean up. So, it's a very handsome bird. Cooper Ocker's the immature that hangs around the area also, and uh, I haven't seen him in the past week or so. But we're down by the KOA campground in Kent, Washington. And it's a wonderful spot for bird watching. You can see you get these great birds. We've got a pair of peregrines down here, red tails, now this Cooper Hawk. And we're hoping to find the Merlin, keep our eye out for them. We have a, kestrels are down here also, so we've got several birds to watch and a pair of bald eagles. But today we we're just very excited to find the Cooper Hawk and you see that little bird flying there by him. That's, uh, there's many starlings feeding the field here, so he knows what he's doing. He's in the right spot. He gets dried off, he'll be able to catch uh, something to eat pretty quick. There he's preening up and looking really handsome. Yeah, his little hackles up on the back of his head now. See, sharp shin hawk can't put their hackles up. That's one of the ways of telling if it's a sharp shin or a cooper. Their coloring is identical pretty much. But they are unable to put the hackles up on the back of their head and their their eyeballs are a little bit big for their head, so just slightly. But that's the difference. But the color is the same. But you see with the hackles up, that's a cooper hawk. And he's drying off here, having a good time, and the sun's starting to come out, so He's thinking this is a good spot to preen my feathers and get all ready to go on for the day and catch something to eat. So, but this is the male Cooper Hawk. We've seen him several times. He's going ahead and preening up his feathers, getting all dry. And if a bird had happened to come by, he'd be off of there in an instant. So we're going to call that good then and uh, turn it off and enjoy the movie. Bye bye. Here's our Cooper Hawk. We're on the west side of the Green River in Kent, not far from the Boeing Aerospace Building. This guy is out here on the telephone pole hunting, and we're hoping to see him fly off of here and catch a mouse or something. We're all excited about it. You can see the wind's picked up a little bit. He's flown off here about, oh, I'd say three times already. Been going down to the ground looking for mice. But we're getting some nice sunlight now. You can see the color and it's giving us a good profile. And you can see we got a little bit of a wind today. But uh, this bird is wintered out here. We've seen him off and on here on most of the winter. There's a pair that nest here closer to the KOA campground. We're going to check on their nest this year. But there's also a kestrel that hangs out here and he, he actually hunts off this same pole. We're trying to locate his nest. And believe it or not, on the Boeing uh, Aerospace Building, there's a pair of peregrine falcons that winter out. They're here year-round. They sleep on the building every night. So 
We're trying to get Falcon Research and Boeing to put up a nest box for them this year. And hopefully that'll take place. But uh, they got to get going on because they usually lay the first egg about St. Patrick's Day, the middle of March. And, uh, so we uh, made a good effort last year and they said if they didn't tear the building down they might be interested in putting up a box. So we have to get going on that. But for now, we got this Cooper Hawk. He's sitting here in the sunlight on his pole, looking for the opportunity to catch a rodent or a bird. I don't think he cares which, and uh, the sun is pretty good, so we're getting a fairly good movie. He was printing earlier, but he's, uh, looks like he's seriously concentrating on the hunting now. We're lucky to have the sun come out and get a fairly good movie. Anyway, he seems to be very intent on this grassland below him and off to the side. And uh, it's a good spot for catching rodents. So we're all excited about that. Maybe we can see him fly off of here and everything will be fine. But uh, he's just kind of hanging out there. I'll see if I can sneak up on him a little bit. I think he's just going to sit there. He's intent on the hunt, so we'll just give him a break then. Over and out, and bye-bye.